Panin Frino was really trying to push Ferrari to make mid-engine cars. And Ferrari was very resistant of it for the road cars, not for the race cars. So they gave Panin Frina a surplus 206S race chassis, and Panin Frina made this car, which has been known as the Yellow Dino, Dino Competizione, and it was the famous show car concept that was in 1967 in the Frankfurt Show. And it's been all over the world in museums. It was in the glass boxes in Florence. It's been displayed all over, and it was sitting in their museum untouched really for 40 years. And when I did Ferrari P45 with Panin Frina, I said to Andrea, Andrea, you gotta sell it to me. And he said, no way, we can't do it. And then eventually, I think when he saw what I did with Ferrari P45 by Panin Frina, and we got it out so people could see it, he said, you know what, let's do it. So we worked together under Paolo Garella, who was head of special projects. We said, it's a work of art. How can we gently awaken it, clean it, and make it functional so we got it running and uh, I took delivery of it so I'm the first owner of the car. I've driven it thousands of miles. I drove it on the Targa Florio and it's a really a great example of how an original car looks because it's unmolested. You know, the saddest thing to me is you see Ferraris that are 20 years old that have 400 miles on them. I mean, what? it's crazy. I once said, and other people have quoted it, that it's like, you know, not having sex with your girlfriend so she'll be more desirable for an ex-boyfriend. I mean, what's the point? It's like crazy. But if you just go out and you drive it and you relax, it's, an, it's like being in a time machine. very sort of 60s, you know, Jetsons type stuff. So it was the first time that they put wings on cars. And we took it into the Paninfrino wind tunnel to test it. It has the drag coefficient of a small pickup truck. And if you adjust the wings, yeah. you know, the car is undrivable. But it was the beginning of aerodynamics. And frankly, it was their vision was, if it's beautiful, it'll be aerodynamic. So they're very curvy. And the motor, it's a 206S race Ferrari motor. So it's a twin plug V6, two liter motor with a P3 gearbox and the original 206S race chassis. So it's not really a mechanical prototype for the Dino, it's more of a styling concept for the Dino. I was just lucky enough to be the first owner of it, buy it directly from Panin Frina and keep it as it was so that people can see what an original Ferrari really looks like and how crude they are. I mean, you can see the weld, the overspray in the paint, the paint drips. Um, and I think that's important that they don't be too pristine because they were just works of art made by people.